is up everybody? I'm Dil Nazanya. Happy 2019 here on this channel. Welcome to 2019. Um, I hope each and every one of you had a great New Year celebration. Merry Christmas. Happy Easter. Whatever it may be. Um, we're going to start off 2019 here on this channel with, other than, you know what, a discussion video. <laughs> But um, it's kind of a down discussion video because um, this topic that we're going to be discussing has been rattling my head and making me disappointed for the past couple of days now. So we're going to go into that discussion right now. And without any further ado, sit back, relax, and yeah, let's get this thing started. So today's discussion at hand is going to be about the Nintendo Switch. And it's not going to be about like specific what I've been talking about this past couple of months, specifically about the online service or my current favorite games on the system or what I like about it or dislike about it. It's actually going to be something that not too many people are talking about right now. It's about brand new Nintendo Switch owners. And specifically, there's one big problem that I have about these new Nintendo Switch owners, and I'll get to that in this video. For the past two months, throughout the holiday season, people have been going out and getting themselves a brand new Nintendo Switch, or maybe they're giving it as a gift to someone. And I commend you all for doing so, because this Nintendo Switch system is just one of the best, biggest beauties out there right now to get for video gaming. Um, either they've been doing that, or they've been piquing the interest especially to people that I've known. However, that's not where my problem lies. My problem lies in why people are getting Nintendo Switch systems. As for the reason why people are getting Nintendo Switch systems these past two months, it's for one reason and one reason alone. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for the Nintendo Switch. Now, you're probably one of those people that are gonna go into the comment section and it's like, oh, this guy doesn't like Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Oh, he doesn't like Smash Bros. Oh, he, he hates this game. No, 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 don't get me wrong. If you watched my channel throughout the months, I've been super hyped to get this game. And once I did, I was ready to ignite my ish into, and pour my heart into this game. And for the past month that I owned it, I have <laughs> over 50 hours have been poured into this game and it's just, I, I love it. I real, I actually really love this game. My problem is it's like people are just getting Smash or people are not Smash People are getting the Nintendo Switch just for Smash and they're not realizing that there are a buttload of There are a buttload of other games that they can play on the Nintendo Switch and they're just get, they're just gonna get a Nintendo Switch just for just for one game. No, it's like you bought like three hundred dollars worth of a of a console, and you're just gonna get it from one game. That's like that's like a waste of money. It's like maximize the potential of your console and go out and get yourselves several games. It's like sure, it's not your primary console like the PlayStation or an Xbox, but maximize the potential. It's like you got several games here that you can push out and push out the limits of your Nintendo Switch. And let's go into detail of that right now. Now before we go further into this discussion video, please don't think that I'm just sucking on Nintendo's big D right now or I'm looking for sponsorships from Nintendo or I'm do yeah, I'm doing this video for sponsorships or I'm fanboying the Nintendo Switch. No, don't think that at all. Just don't yeah, don't do that in the comments. Just be wary, because I have been critical of Nintendo on this channel as well. I criticized a couple of their things, like the online service, some of the questionable things that they've done in their games, etc., etc. So, just just a little warning for all of you that are thinking that right now, that I'm just fanboying over Nintendo and the Switch, or um, you think I'm sucking on their big N right now. Now, as many of us know, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is one of the hottest games on the the internet right now, aside from, of course, Fortnite. Ugh. In my opinion, if you really want to buy a Nintendo Switch for $300 plus, just for Smash Ultimate, you, my friend, are wasting your time <laughs> and wasting your money because there are plenty of games on the Nintendo Switch that you can buy to not only maximize your purchase of the Switch, but maximize the Switch's potential. So with that being said, let's go into those games right now. So some of those games include some from Nintendo and some from third-party companies. 
let's start with the Nintendo ones. You got Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Of course, not everyone's a Zelda fan, but you don't have to be. Um, it's a good open world game, and I personally, myself, am not a Zelda fan, but I, I'm enjoying the game so far. You got Bayonetta 2, Super Mario Odyssey, and personally, my favorite until the online service came out. Oh god. Splatoon 2, it's a good online shooter game, um, but you have to pay an additional $20 because of the online service. And although this is not made by Nintendo, but it's exclusively released on the Switch, um, Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle, it's on sale in the eShop, so consider checking it out. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Super Mario Party, sorry there was a glare there, there's also ARMS and if you want to get it, 1, 2, Switch, and other upcoming games that that are coming out this year as well. You got Animal Crossing, you got Met Bayonetta 3, Metroid Prime 4, Yoshi's Woolly World, um, I can't remember the other games, but there are plenty of other Nintendo exclusive games coming out for the Switch. And then we get, there's also the third party games that are coming out, or that not only coming out, but currently out there right now. L.A. Noir, the NBA 2K games, although they're not as graphically impressive, but for the Switch, it it maximizes the portability aspect. You got Street Fighter as well. You got the Crash the Insane Trilogy. Then you got not this game, <laughs> not Shacked in a Fool. Uh, Rocket League. And then this gold mine, Mutant Football League. Who needs Madden? And then, of course, you also have Fortnite and upcoming games such as Doom Eternal. Um, Mortal Kombat 11 and Crash Team Racing and who knows what's coming from third party companies. Who heck, we might even get that Grand Theft Auto game that we're all asking for <laughs> on the Switch. But hey, you never know with Nintendo and you never know with the Switch. Look, I understand that the Nintendo Switch is not everyone's primary gaming console. It's not a PS4 or an Xbox One or a powerful gaming PC. but if you're gonna get it just for pull it out here just for Super Smash Bros Ultimate then you're you're wait in my opinion you're wasting three hundred dollars for from your Nintendo switch if you're just gonna get it for this alone and that's in my opinion it's just a waste of three hundred dollars um, I would suggest all new switch owners out there consider trying out new games for the switch try try like playing it for a couple hours if you don't like it then you don't like it but just consider like your purchase, like why you purchased the Nintendo Switch, why why you only gained this for Smash Bros, and just try out, try exploring some new games out there. Just explore the possibilities that you can do with your Nintendo Switch, and hopefully you can have as much fun on the Switch as I currently do. So that's gonna do it for this discussion video. Um, I'm sorry that um, it's kind of a little bit of a down discussion because um, it was just it was just a little bit disappointing that I'm, I heard from a lot of people that they're, they might purchase a Nintendo Switch just for Super Smash Bros Ultimate I mean I love Smash Bros but just to get it for just to get a switch for Smash it's kind of a uh, it's kind of disappointing to hear but that's gonna do it for this video don't forget to subscribe like comment share subscribe all my social media links are in the description if you want to go check that out. And always be delicious. I'll see you all in the next video. And I'm out.